Nice legs for a grease monkey, soldier. Bump gun. Oh. Wow. Kiss it and make it better. Yes. Welcome back. I am your host, TJ Hooker. And today's episode is not only... This episode is a big deal, guys. Yes. We made it to season two. Today's episode... We are going to be talking about the Baroness. Yes, you remember, I wanted that figure bad too. That's why I hate Target exclusives. It's not because they have the exclusive. It's because pre-ordering from them is a pain in the ass. I feel like it's sneakers again. Are you kidding me? These aren't a pair of goddamn Yeezys. It's the goddamn Baroness on a motorcycle. Guys, come on. Yes, yes, guys. I acquired her and I did not pay retail. <laughs> But I was com I was comfortable with the price I paid. Let's put it like that. I was comfortable with the price I paid because I understand. That, hey, I understand this game quite well. That was the cheapest I was gonna get it right now, and I really wanted this figure bad. I really wanted this figure bad. So that goes back to our lesson of scalpers. Remember, a so scalper is someone that buys a figure and sells it for a higher price, or basically, a scalper is someone. Someone's price you don't agree with. Are are they are they that bad? I mean, I couldn't I couldn't get them from the retail store. I couldn't order them online. I got the figure I wanted, and I paid a comfortable price for it. He's like, what's his price? What's his price? I'm wondering what he paid. Trust me, I did not pay over eighty dollars for that figure. I paid exactly eighty dollars for that figure, and that's okay with me. I, I, I'm okay with that. Because I justify it, I don't have to hunt. I'm doing this show for you, so I don't have time to be out there, but I'm bringing the figures to you. But I guess it retails for what, $39.99? It's a figure that I wanted, and I wanted to do it for you guys. So there you go. But before we get to the review of the Baroness, we have something else, let's go. I'm war correspondent Chris Brand, and today we're here to talk about 2020's console wars. Yes, we're at war. We're in the middle of a console war. You guys know what it is. PlayStation, Xbox. Some of you guys live and die by that. I do not. I am a double agent. I love them both. Nevertheless, you're wondering which system should you get first because it's either going to come down to availability or, or price, I guess. But we're gonna learn that a lot of the stuff is similar. It's basically, they're not, A, hey, I don't think they're, either side is trying to get new people. I think either side is just like, hey, I know what my crew wants and that's what I'm here to get. X Xbox people aren't like, oh, PlayStation people aren't looking like, oh yeah, I can't wait to get the Xbox. No, you're like, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go with the PS5. <laughs> Am I right? Like. Seriously, so we're here to talk about it like that. I don't think one is necessary. Specs wise, yeah, I guess the Xbox is ahead, but uh, if you play PS5 or PS4, you don't give a shit about those specs. I play what I play. It's some people who, based off the controller, man, specs are important, but they're not. <laughs> And so we're not even going to really get into the specs of everything. We're just going to get into the nuts and bolts of each system. Side by side, Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. Both of these prices, $4.99 for the deluxe system. The deluxe system is basically, it's going to have the drive where if you're a person that buys physical copies of your games, you this is the system you want. And also another thing to think about if you're a person that plays your movies on your system, if you don't have a physical storage to put it in, how are you gonna watch your movies? You're gonna have to go all digital with your movies also. So think about that before you just, hey, I'm gonna get the, the Xbox Series S. The Xbox version is gonna be $299 and the PS5 version is gonna be $399. And this is where I kind of start looking at the specs because storage size is also important for me or for you if this is the one you're gonna go with. How much storage do you have? The Xbox has 512 gigabytes and a NVMe SSD storage drive. I don't necessarily understand that and I, I know people who do so 
hopefully you're in the comment section and you can clarify that part for me. But th that doesn't feel like a lot of storage. Like, help me. I wish there was someone out there to make that part make sense to me. Like, in terms of what? How much storage is that? So, which system are you going to get first? Does it, I'm just giving you some food for thought. I don't, I'm not trying to persuade you to buy anything. As you can tell, I don't know too much about the specs. Help me make that make sense. How does... What in terms of what? And I'm the host of the show. <laughs> Chip, do you have any answers for me? Searching for applicable data. Okay, it's searching for applicable data, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> are, are you calling Cyborg Sanders? Call Cyborg Sanders. Call. Immediately. We'll get a <laughs> we'll talk offline. I need to understand this. You know how the Christmas season goes, there's gonna be a fluctuation. But let me tell you something, guys, don't worry about it. Like all the systems, by goddamn February, you'll be able to get one. Don't whine about it if it's not under your Christmas tree. It's actually the year 2020. <laughs> it's a wash anyway, so let it be part of what makes 2021 great for you. So, here we go. We're gonna get into this barrenness, this review let's go we're gonna get into the baroness's accessories the baroness includes a motorcycle helmet two gold plated pistols a gold handled cobra knife a gun shaped like a snake these two plasma rifles but they also go on the motorcycle those are the Baroness's accessories. It's articulation time, people, and we are going to talk about the articulation of this Baroness figure. I chose the motorcycle helmet because the one with her hair, it restricts some of her movement. So this one will, you'll be able to fully gas the Baroness's articulation. Okay, so you know how we do, we start from the top. Vertical, up and down, horizontal, and the thing about this G.I. Joe's neck, this Hasbro's neck articulation, they've done some new things. So not only does she have this vertical horizontal, she has this part too. You know, we always go down to the shoulders. Butterfly shoulders, you see that? But they even extend their butterfly within the chest. So you got so much movement right there. Even though this is the shoulder pad restricts some of the movement, you can still move this figure. Of course, you're not gonna be able to get, get it all the way up, but you still got that. And st shit, I, I didn't even know that. Look at that. You can you still have good mobility with this one. And that's the shoulder, ball, butterfly, and hinge. Of course, you know. For some reason, Hasbro is afraid to make their female figures <laughs> with double elbows. I don't know why, but she has the standard female elbow. Then we go to the hand rotation and not exactly hinge, but it's slight hinge, but it's more in favor of her pointing because she has pistols. Let's go to the mid section, left, right. You can go, you can go left, right. If I want to, I'm not gonna push it up and down. Then you have your waist articulation. It's, it's stiff. It's a bit stiff. I'm not even gonna front. It's a bit stiff, but you could turn it. I don't, I don't wanna loosen this figure, but I'm pretty sure I could turn it. It's there and it's good. So when you take those photos, you put those, that's how you put those curves in them. All right, so let's go to the hip. It's season two, so we're not calling it the ball joint, the hip joint right here, forward, back. You have your thigh rotation. Then you have your knee. Now they gave her a double knee. She does have the double knee. You go down to the ankle, hinge, rock. Surprised they don't have the toe articulation. And that's your articulation for the Baroness. What are the nuts and bolts of the Baroness action figure? But let's really talk about this figure. It's, first, let's go head to toe. Just like if we were going over our articulation, let's go head to toe. Starting from those glasses, the amount of detail they put into those, I am thoroughly impressed with that. I'm not mad at that at all. The, the art, G.I. Joe classifieds, they, they, they have, they have this great articulation to them where they're doing things different 
from the Marvel Legends. That I almost it's it it rivals the Lightning shirt, the Power Rangers Lightning series articulation. Her articulation is on point. Of course, no double elbows. I apparently they're saying that double elbows on female figures take away with how they look. I, I disagree with that. Just put a the that Black Widow figure, that Black Widow, um, the Black Widow in-game series figure that had double elbows and that looked great. Maybe they don't want them as bulky though. I don't know. And then you would have to have a small elbow connection. I'm not the engineer. I just buy them and talk shit about them. But they killed this. And then just let's go down to the details, bro. It's <laughs> the the shoulder pads killed it. They got that carbon fiber. It looks like carbon fiber and leather on her uniform. Flawless, absolutely flawless, man. Could she have been more curvier? Uh, I, I think this works for her. I appreciate the fact that they're doing different things with each of the female. It's because Scarlet, she was, she looked a little thick. <laughs> yeah, but she's also from Atlanta. Maybe they had something to do with it. She's from Atlanta. If you read her, if you read her card, she's from the A. <laughs> That's why she's so thick, right? <laughs> Nevertheless, I like I like what they did with the Baroness's body. I love how they got the leather thigh high boots and you go down and then at the end of the boot, you see that circle. It's like a gold, a gold little ring, I guess. Fun fact, when the guy came up with the Baroness, he was saying he wanted a character that wasn't ugly looking, that was that wasn't and didn't wear a mask and she was the character and when they first came up with the with the action figure back in the day they had her boobs too big so they had to shave them down this is a true story i'm not making that up it is the baroness it captured the essence of her and who she is i love this figure i love the fact that she looks great next to destro it's like he got her those guns because they both got gold gold pistols beautiful beautiful figure man the what the details in the weapons. That snake rifle is crazy, bro. They put a lot of detail into that. I like that bike. The bike looks good. It has that, it has that Akira feel to it to me. Anyway, needless to say, I I I yo, I'm not even, I don't know why I'm beating around the bush. This figure gets a 10. Good morning. Yes, a 10. I have no issues with it. I'm very satisfied with this Baroness figure. And it, it it made me think about the Joes I wanna see in the future. And this is just watching a 1987 animated feature. Yes, it does promote sexual assault in the workplace, but there's some amazing looking characters in this film. First of all, off the rip, we'll start with the Joes. I, we deserve a, we deserve a Flint figure. Flint hard as shit. The BET and Serpento at General Hawk. The Fang Gang's bound to take a whack at him. And we'll need all the Joes we can get to whack back. What if I leave? He in the office. He in the office. Like what? Click clack. What he had? Calm down, Flint. We are in the office. You are among friends and allies. He cocked his pistol in there just talking about Cobra. So yes, I want a Flint figure. You can't give me Flint without giving me Lady J. Also, I need a cover girl figure. And I know you guys are, are, are changing a lot. I do appreciate you guys are, are updating the look. But cover girl, she gotta have that jacket, man, for that to, to be on point, bro. She gotta have that jacket. Quick kick. We should have been got a quick kick. Chuckles. I definitely, I definitely wanted Chuckles. Chuckles was hard in there. I didn't realize how OP he was either. He ain't even <laughs> he throwing missiles. Who I want from Cobra? Nemesis Enforcer. This is how he came in the game. This is how he was introduced. He was introduced like this. We need a nemesis enforcer figure. They played him. There's no way Sergeant Slaughter should have been able to take him one-on-one -on -one at all, period. Point blank. It should have been Chuckles and Sergeant Slaughter. I would have accepted that. But Sergeant Slaughter by himself, 
Nemesis the Force ripped the whole truck in half. Look at him. He he ripping the that's the force field for the BET. That's just supposed to be mad strong. And Sergeant Slider was able to go one on one with him? No. No, I am calm, shit. No. <laughs> I don't believe that. There is a company that is doing the Sardis Slaughter figure. That looks good. I already pre-ordered it. And if they're listening, you can get the jump on them because I don't think Hasbro is gonna make a Nemesis Enforcer. Just make us Nemesis Enforcer, please. We, I want a Pythona figure. She's hard. She went in. I, I want those particular figures. You guys know I'm the Hasbro Whisperer. When I say a figure, they make it. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying, we're in season two, guys. Look at us. Look at you. Look at, look at me. Look at us. Season two. Yes, that's the end. This is the end of the show. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure enjoyed doing it. But yeah, um, if you liked it, and this is your first time watching this show, that's the, this is what we're gonna be on this season. working on me. I still am on Instagram. I take pictures. So, if you are in the Instagram world, come by, give me a holler, give me a follow, and I'll follow you back. And we're connected forever. That's the one. <laughs> like, whoa, this dude is nuts. Nevertheless, like, share, and subscribe, please. I would really appreciate it. Especially if you like this show, man. Share it with the world. So, thank you for tuning in. We're out. I'm not going to do anything. Fade the